Today is our second conference. We're looking at 2015, a culture change for women in sport. The Scottish Government, Sports Scotland, and others have recognised that women and girls are underrepresented in sport and need more opportunities. We know there's much more that can be done to encourage more girls and women to take part, not just in sport and physical activity, but in all roles at all levels. We've had great debates, we've had great presenters. Tatiana Hiley, she is the head of women's competition at FIFA, and she tweeted this, and I was really, really pleased she did, because as you can see, she was interviewed a lot that day, but we were the only people to have an all-women crew. And that's part of my brief as well, to encourage women as, as reporters, as producers, as camera people, and also as commentators. From a talk, I'm hoping that, that more people will be open to working with, with BME communities, but not only just working with them, not being afraid to work with them. Our barriers are very, very transferable, so don't be afraid. Let's collectively come together and, and and make women and girls a lot more powerful in the industry of sport. The discussion was really positive. It was mainly around the types of skills that athletes bring to the workplace and then how SSE could then use them to uh, fit them within their company. A lot of you know, young athletes get held back by, by not having funding. So I think, I think it's really fantastic that, and there's going to be a real surge of great athletes coming, I think. Like this. As part of our um, kind of business priority, our focus is on diversity and inclusion. So um, it really made sense to support it from a diversity point of view, but also because we've got the SSE Next Generation programme, which supports 100 young athletes um, with an equal split of 50% um, males and 50% females. When you're training and you, you want to achieve what you want in your sport, you don't want worries in the background. You know, you want to be 100% able to focus on your sport. So if these companies can alleviate that pressure, that's brilliant. I'm pleased about the direction that we're taking in women and girls rugby. There's a new equality and diversity strategy in place across the Scottish rugby. And I've found personally a lot of responsibility on my shoulders because there has been a perception amongst female supporters and players that this is the SIU sending a message that everybody counts in within the game. I found the whole day very inspiring. Um, it was good to see a range of presenters um, and I particularly liked finishing with the debate. I think it got everyone engaged and everyone empowered um, and regardless what side of the argument you were on, whether you were for quotas or against them, I think uh, it's definitely got people thinking about it and I know for a fact when I return to work on Monday I'll be talking about it with my colleagues and seeing what they have to say about it. Men don't need any special measures, they don't need any help because just, just because of the way things are, they're already there. And I don't think we need to accept that needs to be the norm anymore. As a whole, sport will benefit, I think health of people um, will benefit and we will we'll bring forward our, our new generation. I think we're in part of the agreement. The right thing. It's just the methodology to get there and that's why, why I don't agree. You need to have the qualities, but I do believe there are women out there who have the qualities, but the opportunities aren't always given to them to um, realise the potential. I've just uh, set up uh, Dundee United's uh, first ever women's uh, football team. Uh, we did get one female applying for the coach position. It was all men, which was interesting. We um, also have to encourage women to push themselves forward more. That doesn't mean being aggressive, it just means you know believing in yourself and just making that further step. On a day like this, it's that awareness and knowledge when you start hearing figures about the percentage of ladies in the boardroom or on, you know, in sport, it, that's when it hits you that, gosh, is that all there is? The bottom line is that they all want to see these changes happen. And I think for us, learning from people, listening to their expertise and their knowledge, um, we can go forward now and we can hope to start to make these changes.